All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I apologize, I'm a little bit late. I was answering some people texting me and etc. And you know, some people that are really crazy. Uh, stupidity is the the sign of intelligence these days. Uh, when somebody sent me a message saying. Um, that there is a church which is correct and there's a church which is not correct that's alone is a sign that you are being a fool there's no church is called correct and a church is not correct there's a christians who they are correct and there's a christians who they are not christians which means they are fake christians so when you give a title to a church to be the correct church to follow that's mean you are the person who spoke about or the bible speak about a roman a person who bring division and christ is against division it is a Christ and Christ only who decide for us who is correct and who is not. And Christ, the Messiah, he said, who, what the Bible says, who is the one who is the liar? It is the one who denied the Father and the Son. So if you deny what Christ he taught to believe in his crucifixion, his death, uh, his coming back, he is the way, he is the Son of God, that's mean you are not Christian. You can call yourself whatever you want, but you are not Christian. So for those naive dummy who keep saying this church is wrong and that church is not a Christian, you are the one is not being a Christian because it's not you. If you are really Christian, you should follow the Bible. The Bible says it clearly who is a Christian, who is not. Whoever believe in me and I will live. That is the word of Jesus. Believe in me as what? Son of God. Believe in me as what? My work which I did for him. Catholic, Christians, I mean, Protestant, Orthodox, all of you believe that Jesus is born of the Virgin Mary. All of you believe that he was crucified. All of you believe that he is coming back. All of you, you believe that he is Son of God. All of you believe in the Trinity. All of you believe that there is no salvation but by Jesus. And the difference between you, it was nothing but politics. And if you think it's not, you are just being a fool. It was kings and politics who divided us. It's not Christianity. So whoever like the vision, stay away from me. I spit at your Satan. I don't want you to be around me. Leave me alone. Let us say you are right and I'm wrong. Just to stay away. I'm sick of people like you. All the Christians who believe in Jesus as Savior, who died for them in the cross, in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, they believe in the miracles of Jesus, believe in the coming of Jesus, that he will be the judge, and he being given the power of the Father. And the one who saw him, he saw the Father. He is my brother in Christ. You don't like it, go and join the devil, which he enjoys seeing Christians divided. If you see, if you ask any Mohammedan, you know, they go to chat rooms, and right away they start making fight between Catholic and Protestant, etc. Why? Because they knew your weakness that you are really weak you are really under the influence of the devil yet you claim to be christian so we speak we give lectures about how jesus taught us to be loving merciful nice love your enemy but the second i say catholic you go crazy the second i say or oh, protestant you go crazy you know what because the devil is inside you not jesus that is the truth and the truth hurt and Muhammad exactly knew what he used to conquer divide and conquer and we can show you many verses in the Quran and actually the Quran says it clearly that Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the judgment day so when you do that you are just a servant of Allah not a servant of Jesus this is the Quran in front of you and this is a warning for those who decide to be servant of Allah, not Jesus. If you are a Christian, you claim that you love your enemy. How about love your brother in Christ, who love a Christ, worship him, and accept him as God? If you cannot do that, you are no Christian, you don't belong to him, and you are a fake news like CNN. Now we go to our topic. Anyone he speak against Islam, CNN call him bigot, bigotry, or maybe even racist. And then they try to present to you 
a, a different version of Islam which we do not know something we never heard of and their excuses they say well there is a, a hundred of millions of Muslims are not practicing terrorism my friend we are not talking about Muslims we are talking about Islam a second ago I was talking about fake Christians fake Christians just a second ago which means we cannot really judge Christ by me even me let us say I am a true Christian maybe some of you would not would think no he's not but you cannot judge the teaching of Christ by someone like me because people follow him not me so in order to judge we judge the founder of the belief so what CNN tried to do and other uh, liberal agency the second you speak against Islam or you say Islam is intolerance and you know bigotry mean what mean you don't tolerate you know and here we asked uh, the CNN or whatever uh, agency is for the left which Muslim country allow you to change your religion as long as you are saying Muslims don't believe uh, they are uh, they don't believe in terrorism okay that's wonderful but terrorism have many ways Terrorism is not necessarily attacking somebody and killing him in different country by uh, suicide bombing if you don't allow somebody to express his mind that is terrorism If somebody want to leave Islam he cannot leave Islam that is terrorism if he leave Islam we kill him that is terrorism Which Islamic country allow a Muslim to leave Islam? Give me one name one for me So how come they say that the one who speak against Islam he is teaching bigotry but in Islam you cannot do anything and all Islamic countries they practice one thing no no leaving to Islam but which 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 open-minded country according to CNN allow you to leave Islam give me one because that is terrorism which Islamic country will not kill you if you are a gay which one so they give you big titles about and you know the funny is that the liberals they have big mouth to attack a Christianity and if you attack Christianity or you make a movie saying the f-word to Jesus you are not a person of bigotry you are insulting me yesterday I wanted to say okay I want to watch a movie the first time the effort to Jesus the second time the effort to Jesus you cannot make a movie without saying the effort to Jesus yes they cannot they cannot make a movie this is in purpose done this is written in the script is in the in the script of the movie in purpose to insult the Christianity but this is not bigotry this is not intolerance so the Christians who don't kill people for saying the bad words to Jesus cursing him every day you know we don't do have you ever see Christians going shooting people so we are the people of bigotry why Islam says fight the Christians force them to pay jizya or they die or what or they die Islam says you cannot take a Christians as a friends but Christianity says love your enemy so which one is the one who teach bigotry Take not Christians and Jews as a friends. This is in the Quran. The Quran is a book of bigotry. Because this is a clear sign of intolerance. Why you cannot make me as a friend? If I have a neighbor, he's a Muslim, I will be nice to him. I will be kind for him. And he is, you know, as long as he is good to me, I'm good to him. This is a religion of hate. What kind of religion says that Allah will spread hatred between Christians and Jews specifically is that religion of bigotry so when the CNN they make a, a program saying Islam bigotry versus facts well the facts in the front of our eyes give me your facts give me your facts prove me wrong what fact you are talking about Saudi Arabia Indonesia a Christian Indonesian became a mayor for Jakarta. What did they do to him? He just said, 
those who they are attacking him, they are using religion to win the election by saying such a sentence. He did not say anything about Islam. By saying such a sentence, they took him to jail and they stripped him from his job. And now he's in jail. Two years in jail just for saying those in politics, they are using religion. He did it. He did not say Muhammad is a bad man. He did not say the Quran is disgusting. He didn't say anything. Someone saying Minnesota will be ruled by the followers of Muhammad. That's false, my friend. The one who make a Muslim uh, uh, in the parliament is the Democrat. Not the Muslims. Muslims are very little tiny minority in USA. Very tiny. Uh, so when we speak about facts, Please bring me your facts. It is the Quran who says that we are kuffar. And here translation, they say disbelief, but kuffar is a word. It's a disgusting word because kuffar mean you are a liar and you are hiding the truth. And what is the punishment for kuffar? Kill them. Quran says that the Christian and the Jews they say we are the beloved people of God. Islam refused that because Muslims believe that they are the one who believe by uh, beloved by God. Chapter three, verse one ten. And not only that, Muhammad he told them. This is a hadith here about the one who leaves his religion kill him but look at this one muhammad not only he taught the muslim that they are superior which means islam is a supremacist cult muhammad he ordered his followers to attack others and bring them and the chains around their necks you are the best of people what people mankind Ever raised for between two bracket the benefit of mankind chapter 3 verse 110 well isn't it this is what uh, Hitler he says read carefully this is exactly what Hitler he did the best of for mankind are those Remember, this is not my words. Here we speak about facts. We don't make a propaganda and fake news as CNN. Who is the best for mankind? This is the Muslim belief, not my belief. Those who bring them with the chains drown their necks till they embrace Islam. And supposedly the Muslims are doing you a favor so you will not go to hellfire. Hmm? Look how, this is a charity work. They go attack you in your home. They enslave your daughter, your wife, and they rape them, and that to force you to convert to Islam. And if you convert to Islam before you die, before they kill you, you are safe from hellfire, brother. Where is the bigotry? What I am saying is a bigotry, or this is bigotry? Hmm? So in order to silence you, if I go right now and type in a private Google, which is always side with the with the with those who teach intolerance, and actually Google and YouTube are organization of intolerance. How many times they keep taking my videos down? I can't even keep my videos for five hours alive. Why? Because they are people of bigotry. There's Thousands and thousands of videos attacking Christianity and nobody take it down. The second you speak against Islam, they take you down. They created a title. It's called Islamophobia. Islamophobia. And anyone who speak against Islam, they frame him inside that title. But the fact Islam is the phobia. If you eat pork, 
in the Middle East, what will happen to you? Any Muslim can tell me? If you eat a sandwich in the street in the month of Ramadan, what will happen to you? Six month jail. And they will whip your back 90 times. What if somebody drunk water in the month of Ramadan? Phobia. They have a phobia. What if somebody have a cross in his neck? They are even going to the West and put a guy in the hospital and this is the church or Catholic uh, uh, hospital and he have a cross in the wall. He says, I cannot sit here. There's a, there's a cross. Phobia. He is coming asking for help for medication to save his life and yet he have a phobia from the cross. When Muhammad, he said, I'm going to cleanse the Christians, genocide, and the Jews. Isn't it him, the founder of the phobia? I will let only Muslims live there. So they say to us, that those who attack Islam, they are teaching bigotry. Trump, he want to send the illegal immigrant back to where they came from. And illegal mean illegal, which means you commit a crime by crossing the borders illegally. If I go to Mexico right now, not through the borders, the police will arrest me and they will deport me. So they call Trump racist for saying such a statement about people who they are not from the land, crossing the land. But those are people who they are living in the land, the Christians and the Jews in the Arabian Peninsula. They are born there. Muhammad, he decided to expel them. Uh, what her name, Ilhanu Umar, or Ilhanu Umar, whatever, she said that this is, you know, you're attacking people of color. Did she use her color as a card to mute you? But she will never dare to say that Muhammad obviously was a racist. He is a man of bigotry. She go and she dance with the gays and lesbians in their festival. But she will not answer. What do you think about your prophet says the one who is a gay kill him? Do you think Muhammad is a person of bigotry? So Trump, he says, go back where you're coming from. Will I say to everybody, me, myself, actually, I, saw, I said that to Arab people like me, even Christians who complain about America. I said, if you don't like America, go back where you're coming from. You are being a hypocrite. You come to this country, you, not only you come, you desperately did your best to come to this country. Go in the Middle East and see they sleep in the front of the embassy. And they apply first time, they refuse them. They apply second time, they refuse them. They apply third time, they refuse them. They apply 10, 12, until one day they get lucky and they get a visa. And this is the truth. And then when they come to America, they say America is bad. Okay, go back. If your country is a heaven, go back. I am here in America because America is better for me. Otherwise, I'm a hypocrite. So why I'm here? Who's forcing you? Why you don't go take an airplane and go back to Saudi Arabia if you don't like your America? Or go back to Somalia or go back to Lebanon or go back to Jordan? Why you are here? Simply because this is the best for you. You are being a hypocrite. They come to America and they defend Al-Qaeda. And the one who defend Al-Qaeda is not a person of bigotry. Everything is upside down. Everything is upside down. So now we want the Muslims to help us to see, are we stating facts here or we are making things up? Is what we see in the screen is it a fact there's zero Saudi citizen is a Christian have you ever heard of a country have only one religion yes because Islam teach uh, tolerance have you ever heard of a country have zero gay 
when Ahmadinejad he came to United Nation to make a speech they said to him you are discriminating and killing gays he said we don't have gays in our country Iran does not have gays for sure you don't because the one who say he is you kill him That is the truth. So when we say something, <clears throat> prove us wrong. As you see, everything we say, it's in the front of us. In the screen. Reference, proofs, books. Nothing of our own. Isn't it Muhammad, he says, go and fight whoever don't believe in Allah. Isn't it Muhammad who says, I've been ordered to fight and kill all mankind unless they convert to Islam? Hmm? And not only you have to convert to Islam, you have to pay Muhammad money, protection money. He's a mafia, a gang guy. And you have to eat as he eat because he decides for you what to eat, not to, not to eat. And you even... Uh, what direction you pray to nothing you know Islam is nothing but a form of a slavery Islam dictate what to say how to pray what direction what to wear what to eat what to drink what to say even before you go to the bathroom that is a religion of, of a bigotry because if you don't do that then you will kill you and this is the truth it's in front of you if you slaughter as we slaughter you eat as we eat you pray as we pray and you worship nothing but as we worship then and only then your blood and your money is sacred from us so Muhammad is a gang leader he's a thief and he's a criminal and he will kill you if you don't do those things yet they say the one who attack Islam is a person of bigotry how that can be this is the fact not the one they say to you in Fox News they bring you two guys talking about Islam two actors a stupid actor he starts saying to you I know many Muslims you know uh, you know what who, 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 Islam is not a Muslim Christianity is not a Christian prince Islam when I say I'm a Muslim that's mean I believe in what I see in the front of me in the screen if you don't believe in that then you are not a Muslim it's like saying this guy is a Christian but he don't believe in the teaching of Jesus that is silly isn't it even Jesus said not everyone say to me God God will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will so if you don't practice what Jesus said, well, you are far away. You cannot call yourself a Christian. Now, if you are a Muslim, you would like to call us. Prove us wrong. Please feel free. Uh, please don't post any link for YouTube in the chat, admins. Don't post any link. Of YouTube in the chat do we have any Muslim would like to call us and prove us wrong anyone Well, separation of a church and state was was made by Jesus, not by you. It was Jesus who said, "Give to God what to God, and to Caesar what to Caesar." This is not your uh, creation, my friend. Jesus, from the beginning, he don't want the church to be a state. So it's not your fantasy who you came with, and say, "Oh, we taught the Christians the best way." That is Jesus, my friend. 
Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Any Muslim want to prove me wrong? That's when you Muslims agree with me. Islam teach bigotry. Bigotry against even your own. Even Muhammad, he taught that Muslim, they should kill each other. Have you ever heard of a cult leader like this? If we go in the Quran, we will see many facts like this. But before we go there, here in front of me, when you're searching Google, facts about Islam. The word Islam means submission. That's absolutely false. Where you get this from information from? You hear even people who they are ex-Muslims because they are ignorant. They keep saying Islam means submission. That's absolutely garbage. That's far away from the truth. Islam means you surrender, not you submit. Surrender in the mean of war. Submission is a peaceful word, like you submit willingly. But this is not what Islam is. Muhammad, he says, Aslim Taslam. What does that mean? Surrender, you will be safe from my hand. And this is exactly translated here. I've been ordered to fight and fight here by the way in the, in the word in Arabic to uqatil uqatil means fight to kill not fight by shoes or you know by uh, throwing some zucchini at you Muslims always use this term aslim taslam what does that mean Very simple. You want to be safe? You don't want to be killed? Aslim, Taslam. Read it. Muhammad, he said to the man, Ubaid ibn Hatim, enter Islam, you will be safe. Safe from what? You're safe from being killed. Is that submission? No. Surrender. And then just say this sentence, and we don't care really if you believe or not. So always people, they bring you false information about Islam. Never learn from Google website saying Islam means submission. Even from Christians. Yeah, so Ron, we don't want to change the topic, my friend. Do we have any Muslim? He want to say something to us. Any Muslim want to say something to us? Any Muslim want to prove us wrong? See here, we prov provide facts, not statements. Anyone? A Muslim there in the text is saying, uh, CP, which means he meant me, is a lying coward. That is Islamic. They cannot say what is in this in the screen is a lie. They say I'm liar. Where is the lie? Where is the lie? Why you don't call me and show me and show everybody life on air who is lying here? Hmm? 
You cannot do it. The best you can do, you say he's a liar. What about you call and show everybody? And then you take the video, download it, and post it on your channel. What do you think? Look at this verse as an example. Chapter 49, verse number 14. Horrible. Very horrible Quran. And you can use whatever translation you want. Here they say the word submitted our will. But the fact, it doesn't say submitted. This is uh, Yusuf Ali. Let us see Shakir. Shakir says submitted. They copy from each other. Uh, if we go to... Uh, let us see... Hilali and Khan. Here we go. The Bedouin, the Arab, they say, we believe. What they say? They say we believe. We have a caller. I hope you are a Muslim. Let me ask you first. Are you a Muslim? If you are not a Muslim, don't call me. I will block you. If you call me without permission, if you are not a Muslim, only Muslims can call me anytime. Only. For sure, I'm talking when I am live on air. So the Bedouin, the Arab, they said, Al Arab, we believe, believe in what? In Islam. Say to them, Allah saying to Muhammad, say, you believe not. But you only say we surrender. What does that mean? What the Quran explain? For faith has not yet entered your heart. So how do you say we are Muslims, but faith never entered their heart? Because he forced them. Isn't it obvious? So faith did not enter your heart, but they surrender to Islam. And Allah is saying to them, say we are Muslims. Don't say we are believers, say we are Muslims. And this is the text in Arabic. Okay, it looks like we have a Muslim. So let us call him. He's trying to call us. Just I wanted to be sure he's a Muslim. Hello. Yes, my friend. How are you? You are live on air. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really, really. All right. So what do you Hello? want to say to us about the topic? You hear me? Yeah. Uh, like I wasn't listening to the topic much, but I just to uh, ask you some stuff in general. Sure, no problem. Go ahead. Yeah, I want to know, like, what do you think about sleep paralysis? About what? About sleep paralysis. I don't understand. What is that? You know, like, uh, like sleep paralysis when you like, see demons and stuff. See demon? Yeah. But you are a Muslim. You don't believe in demon. Sorry? Muslims don't believe like, in demons. Like yeah, but I wanted your your point on you on it. I don't understand. Are you a Muslim or not? Yes, I am Muslim. Okay, Muslim don't believe in demon, my friend. Uh, I don't know whether Muslim believe in you or not, but I want your point on you on it. Are you speaking from your nose? For somehow I feel like you are changing your voice. Sorry? Are you speaking from your nose, trying to change your voice? No, no, I'm not. Okay. So, listen, this topic is... Uh, uh, is not really uh, I don't understand what you are trying to say but as I know you Muslim don't believe in demon you believe in a creature they are called genie so do you believe in genie yeah yeah okay 
So what is genie? Do you know? Sorry? What is the genie? Do you know what genie is? No, it's like spirits or genies, like demon spirits. I don't understand. What is genie? You said you believe in genie. What is the genie? I don't understand. Hmm? All right. I yeah, know this person have a weird. So as you see here, for we go back to our topic. Uh, even his voice was weird, as if he's talking from his nose. I know. So, and to understand this verse, by the way, this verse was a response to the threat Muhammad he made to the Bedouin before. Muhammad he said to the Bedouin, "Convert to Islam." Otherwise, you will be fighting people of might. Say into the Bedouin, the wandering Arab, who we are left behind, they don't want to join Islam. You will be called against a folk of mighty powers. Muslims, they will attack you. To fight them until they surrender. Until what? Until they became a Muslim. What is the word surrender? Muslims. This is the Arabic word. Yuslimun. Became Muslims. What does that mean? Until they surrender. And if they obey Allah, okay, we will not kill you. But if you don't, we will punish you with painful penalty. Death. Torture, crucifixion, cutting hands. Islam not only teach bigotry, Islam teach torture. There is a huge difference between penalty and torture. Chapter 5, verse number 33. The funny, the translator here, he says the reward. What kind of reward this reward is? This is the penalty, jaza. Of those who make war upon Allah and his messenger. And by the way, here, when you see the word war, you think that means necessarily that you took a sword and you fight you fought the Muslims okay and this is your punishment no no this is about anything you do including normal crimes or even speaking against the Prophet Muhammad he tied the women her name is Umm Qurfa and this is all in Islamic books and accepted by Muslims he brought a woman she is over the age of 80 years old he tied her legs into two camels and he split her Two pieces when she was alive. You see, Muhammad is a prophet of tolerance. I saw such a video, by the way, made by ISIS. They tied a person between two tanks and they split him two pieces. ISIS, they are just following the steps of their prophet. And by the way, I change any Muslim to say this story is a lie. Just try. Just try. And here, if you speak against the Prophet or you leave Islam, this penalty will be upon you. So what we do? We cut their hands. We crucify them. We cut their hands and feet from opposite direction. And actually, Muhammad, he practiced something more than what is written in the Quran. He put nails after he put them in fire. He inserted them in the eyes of his enemies torture this man he enjoy torture do you see it they enjoy they enjoy torture
You see, if a criminal, he commit a crime, okay, punish him for his crime. I am not against death penalty, by the way, for those who kill. But what is this? This is not death penalty. You see, those who do torture, they have mental issue. Not only they are full of hate, but they enjoy it. It bring happiness. And actually the Quran says that. Quran says, kill them, punish them, torture them. For Allah, he tortured them by your hands. Do you see it? Chapter 9, verse 14. And this is the Muslim translation, not even mine. Not only fight them, torture them. Actually, in different verses in the Quran, Muhammad, he said the following, not only kill them, cut their fingertips. So you enjoy cutting their fingers one by one. Cut their necks and have fun cutting their fingers. This is facts, my friend. We are not the same as CNN making a speech about Islam. Everything we say is in the front of you in the screen. Don't call me, please, if you are not a Muslim. Don't force me to block you. Any Mohammedan would like to call us. Oh, this is a Muslim. Okay, we have a Muslim. And he's saying to me, uh, answer, uh, coward, pick up. I thought this is not a Muslim. Hold on. We got a fish. All right. Hello. Yes, Abdul. How are you? Hello. I'm, I'm Abbas's son. You are Abbas's son? Yes. Abbas, he can make kids? Don't, don't insult my dad, please. Well, I don't know. Your prophet, he could not. Okay, what do you want to say to us? What is the proof that you are Abbas's son? Oh, I can send you a picture. Hmm. I think you are a troll. I'm not a troll. Okay, you are a Muslim for sure. Yes. Do you want me to say the Shahada? Uh, no, I want to ask you uh, where Muhammad he received the first chapter of the Quran. In a cave. What the name of the cave? Oh, I don't know the name. I don't know the name of it. Hmm. Okay, and what the angel did to Muhammad when he saw him first time? He squeezed him uh, three times. Okay, did your father Abbas squeeze you three times before? No. Why not? Why Muhammad, he was squeezed three times and your father did not squeeze you? Why the angel squeezed the prophet three times? Because, because he's a prophet and I'm not. So if he is a prophet, he will be squeezed? Yes, to okay. let him know that he's about to receive revelation. So you are saying Muhammad will not be able to recognize that he is receiving revelation unless he's been squeezed? It, it was a way to wake him up, as in, you know, look, here I, I am. No, but the guy, he said to him, read. And then Muhammad, he said to him, he's already wake up. He answered him. He said, I cannot read. He said, Akra. Yeah, but Akra, or the verb in Arabic, what's the verb in Arabic for read? It's Akra, isn't it? Mm, yeah. It means to have the scripture. It doesn't no, only mean me to read. read. Me read. Yes, but it means you can have three meanings 
to read. No, who, who, was, read. who was the donkey he told you it can have a three meaning? You can search Arabic dictionary online. First of all, this is not an see? Arabic word. This is an Aramaic word, mean qarra wa ra'a, which means he saw and he say what he saw. So he read with his eyes and he move his lips. So qarra it also means, and ara. It also means to have to have the scripture. Okay, so why Muhammad says I cannot? Because he didn't have the scripture at that time. So the guy he's saying to him, you, you just said, he is saying to him, I will give you a scripture. Why Muhammad, he says, I cannot. Because he's illiterate. So are you saying that the prophet, he was not understanding the angel? And, no, you, are saying, and you are saying now that he is illiterate. So if he's illiterate, he cannot receive scriptures. How that can be? If I say to you, say, uh, Abbas, do you say to me, I cannot say Abbas? You confused me. You just said he is illiterate. No, 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 listen. You are the one who said he is illiterate. So that means he said yeah. to him, read. Yeah. Okay. So he said to him, read, and the, uh, the prophet is illiterate, correct? Yes. Okay. So do the angel knew that Muhammad is illiterate? Yes, but uh, he he did he did. But okay, so why he said to him read if he, he if he should know he should know better that Muhammad cannot read anyway. So what the point? Yeah, that's a good question. But like I like I explained to you earlier, mm. the verb we use in Arabic is akara, which means mm. so it means to read, mm. and it also means to have the scripture as in. Okay, you know, but Muhammad he says uh, I do not know how to read. Why Muhammad, Why the, why the angel did not correct him? Says I don't want you to read. May, I think the read also refers to reciting. Okay, let us say I will go with you. So he said to him recite, oh. but recite is repeating something from the memory. Do Muhammad have verses before that point? No. No. Okay, so how we can recite something not in the memory? Reciting is not yep. is not yep. is, is not repeating. Reciting is saying yep. something you memorize. Now, if the angel is saying to him repeat, isn't it mm. isn't it funny to say to him, I cannot repeat? You just said the same word he said to you, which means you did repeat. Okay, let me let me explain. Hmm. You can recite things from hearing from people. You don't have to read them. You can just hear it around. No and you problem. Can just but if recite it. is recite what the angel he meant, then Muhammad, he should not say, I cannot recite. By, by saying that word, you just recited yes, what he said. Yeah, because, because he wasn't able to read. My friend, he is not able to read or to recite. Yes, that's true. What, no, what was true? I'm yes. asking which one is which one of them? He was not able to read or he was not able to recite? He, huh? he, he was not able to read because he was not able to read because okay, so why? Literate. Okay, so he said to him, I do not know how to read. Did the angel say to him, I don't want you to read? No, he squeezed him, correct? Yeah, okay, and he said to him again, read, correct? Yes. Okay. And Muhammad, he said to him for the second time, I do not know how to read. Correct? Yes, but okay. Okay. And Look, the angel, he's squeezing for the third time. And the angel, he's squeezing for the third time. And each time he squeezed him, he said to him, read. And Muhammad, he says, I do not know how to read. And not only he squeezed him, he squeezed him so harsh. Correct? Yes, but look, <clears throat> imagine an angel shows up to you right now. Would mm. you not be scared? Because well, what does have to do so, with the squeeze? What, what what does have to do with the squeezing me? Let us say I because, guess. Okay, let us say actually I can show your prophet. He got scared. Yes, you are right. You know he received the chapter of Al Fatiha when yes. he was doing poo, poo and he ran away, and the panty was between his legs. Okay, well, what has this to do with what we're just talking about? You just told me that he got scared from the angel. I'm, I'm just I'm just agreeing. Yeah, with you. Okay, this is what happened with him. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes, he goes. He goes. He goes scared, and that's why. He had to shoot him like to squeeze him three times, okay, to be like you know, in order to calm him down, mm. to okay. make him feel more calm. And did that like, work? Is it but Muhammad he went to his wife and he was shaking, get scared even more. So the angel was wrong, yes, because angels are not you know, they're like huge creatures, they're not little creatures as we how big the angel is. He's like probably like two meters tall, and that he's, he's no, he's two like meters tall, he's no little. 
Lou. That's mean he's smaller than me. I am like three meters tall. What is it? The only three two meter. The prophet he says that the angel he covered the horizon. Okay, but what's your I answered your question already. What are you? You answer I nothing. You. I said what? Okay, why? I he told you. Okay, hold on. You said he squeezed him to make him know. Right. Yes. But Muhammad did not yes. know anything. Still, he did not know why he did not say to him from the beginning. Give him the verse and that's it. What this is a read and etc. Just tell him. Did, did he say to him, I am an angel? Oh, I'm not sure about that. Why he did not say, I am an angel? What about it? first present yourself? Say, I am coming to you from because, Allah. Because he didn't know. He, he can say to you, when an angel comes up to you, just know you don't need to say, look, I'm an angel. It's like me saying, if I come up to you now, mm -hmm. do I need to say to you, look, I'm a human being? I don't, you no, know, I'm you do not need to say human being. You do not need to say human being because, but you need to say who you are. What do you want? So when you come to me and start squeezing me, and do you notice here your prophet is not complaining about the guy squeezing him? If a guy he starts squeezing you, do you let him do it? First time, second time, third time? Yeah, but he had no choice because it's an angel. Let us say you are what? You know, it doesn't matter what. Don't you? Sh uh, you but can you can talk? You can say to him, "Stop touching me," can't you? Yeah, but you, you can ask if if why you, you know you can and you can ask a lot of questions like this you know I don't, why I don't not why answers. not here we go but uh, Muhammad is saying I cannot read he can adjust a word stop squeezing me okay so now the angel he squeezed Muhammad three times Muhammad is still he understand that he, he don't understand and the angel says to him read in the name of your Lord so still the angel is ignorant he's saying to him read in the name of your Lord did he read no if Allah is the one who well, said, if, if, if Allah it, said, let me, let me hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If, okay, Allah, if Allah is God, and He said to anyone illiterate read, I think Allah He can make a miracle to make him read, right? Because suppose He is God, correct? Yes. That's okay. Correct. So how Allah He says to Muhammad, read three times because this is the word of Allah, not the word of the angels, and yet mm -hmm. Muhammad He cannot read, still. Yeah, that's a good question, but um, and I, I need to look it up. I'm not, I'm not sure. Mm, okay, you know, forget about but all of this. Look, in, this in the same story, in, this, to... in the same story, it says Muhammad he tried to commit suicide many times. What do you think yes, about? I've heard about? Okay, what do you think about a man trying to commit suicide? I told you it's because you were scared. But he, this is after. Fought, this is after. Fought. No, this is after. He, after. He received inspiration already many times. He spoke to the angels many times. Yet Muhammad want to dump himself from the top of the mountain. What do you think about yeah, such because a thing? He, because he thought he was um shaitan. He didn't. He, he didn't think he was an angel. No, already. That's why he. No, no, already he went and he talked to him and Waraka told him this is an angel and now he received more inspiration. But then the inspiration suddenly stopped after the death of Waraka. No Waraka. And that's no, no Quran. That so no what I can so I what think he was depressed that's why he was depressed okay do you think that God will let his prophet uh, go crazy because that's mean he's going crazy to kill yourself be, well, look even like it, his dad died so obviously you know you get sad and depressed and stuff his dad died which dad yeah who, who was work some people say it was his dad. Yeah, not some people. This is me who says that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. So do you believe that Waraka is his dad? Yeah, I, I personally I believe that. It's, it's, it's not, not everyone believes it, but um, I, I do believe it. I think that is, is a possibility. Hmm. So Waraka, the real father of Muhammad, who was sleeping with his mother, he died. And Muhammad, he's tried to commit suicide. But is it normal if somebody, his father, die, he tried to commit suicide? Sorry, can you repeat that again? If some is that normal? I mean, people die every day. People lose their parents every yeah. day. So, are you going to kill yourself if you, if your father die? No. But, yeah, but you, you know, you, you can't generalize. You don't know. Okay. So okay, I, let's move on. So, so are we agreeing that Muhammad have a mental issue? Are you saying that? No, I'm not saying that. Okay. Astaghfirullah. What, Astaghfirullah. Okay. So, what about your prophet? He imagined himself having sex, but in fact, he did not. Where did you get that from? From the Prophet. Here we go. First of all, that's hadith. The, the, the Prophet wife, she said that. Here we go. She said that the Prophet, 
the prophet continued for such and such period of time imagine that he had sexual intercourse with his wives but in fact he did not let me see so do you think he's crazy yes yeah. what scroll down scroll down I'll... scroll down okay here we go I don't see the whole thing well the story is very simple he did have he did have fake sex but in fact he did not and who is reporting this story Aisha the wife of the Prophet because you know some of the stories are fake and some are not yeah but this is Sahih Bukhari this is Sahih mm. yeah so what do you think about a person he think he's having sex with his wife but in fact it was not the wife so look because I'm a Muslim so I do in this instance um, I try to see if there's another hadith similar to this one and um, compare and contrast hmm. So what I would do is what you know, similar? What's similar? Another, All of them they say the same. What's similar? All of them they say the same. The other hadith says that the prophet he was bewitched. Yeah, do you believe in black magic? Hmm. So are you agreeing that your prophet was controlled by black magic? The, um, well, do you believe in black magic? This is another question. It's possible. Do you believe yeah, it's that Muhammad was it's controlled possible. by black magic? It's possible. Okay, why it's called the black and magic? What does that mean? Is that because it's uh, made by Satan? No, I'm not sure about that, but it's just made by. Is magic from, is magic from Allah or from Satan? Um, I've, I think I think it's from Satan. No, I don't agree. It's from Allah. What are you talking about? Yeah, magic is from Allah, but the one who practice it is satanic people. Allah, He sent. He opened yeah, that's a, what I said. Allah he opened a school in the Babylon tower to teach magic Babylon hmm. don't you know about it he sent two angels their no. name is Harut and Marut I'm, and not, they, I'm not that educated like my dad. no problem Harut and Marut they are two angels sent down by Allah in the time of Solomon supposedly or before and they open a school to teach magic this is the Quran chapter 2 verse 102 chapter 2 verse 102 hmm. why Allah he taught people how to do magic as I know magic is satanic thing is an evil teaching my oh I'm still reading it sorry give me a second no problem Yes, but we gotta read the verses before and the verses after that. No problem. You can read ten verses before it. But by the way, the verse before it have nothing to do with the verse after it. Nothing. Totally yeah, nothing. But just to get the context. No problem, but it has nothing to do. I'm telling you, there's no context. This verse have nothing to do with the whole chapter. Yes. Okay. 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 So what's your point? My point it's Allah. He sent two angels to teach magic, and now Muhammad, the satans, yeah, that was the devil. Yeah, that they was the magic the, of Allah the, the, to control the, 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 Muhammad. So Allah is helping the devil yeah, that, to control yeah, that Muhammad. Was test, to test the angels. The test? What test? To test them to, to see if um um you know if 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 they sin and that kind of stuff. To test the angels. Allah He sent them. Yeah, to test them if they obey him. If to see if they're obedient. What obedience? If they obey him. Hmm. It's for example, if I tell you go kill someone, hmm. you, you know the story of Abraham um Abraham hmm. when yeah, he I know the God story tested him. Hmm. So, yeah, yeah. So it was the same thing to, okay. to but, test no, the this angels. Has nothing to do. This is here Allah he opened a school for magic, sending two haro two two angels. And just to open a school, and even they make you sign a disclaimer that if you learn this magic, you will use it only to cause a man and a woman to get divorced. Is that true? Uh, where, where did you get that from? From the verse in the front of us. It says, they make them sign disclaimer. Uh, they say to them, therefore, they say to them, uh, they will not teach anyone till they say to them, uh, we are only a temptation, therefore disbelieve not. 
and from those two angels people learn that by which they cause division between man and wife so if you want a man to divorce his wife you call Allah he will send you two angels and they will teach you how to make a man and his wife get divorced what do you think about that by doing magic yeah um well, we have to look at the interpretation of this verse to to get uh, more knowledge mm. of you know what was the meaning behind this okay, verse. My friend, uh, your time is up. Uh, there's anything you want to say before you go? Can, can you go to a jelly line? To do what? To look for the interpretation of this verse. No problem. You go and tell me what is the interpretation. Wait. Give me a second. Mm. Uh, do you mind? Uh, and also, do you mind if I quickly? Um, Call my dad um, about this verse. You sure, said sure. chapter call two, uh, okay, call uh, one, one or two. Okay, but uh, I want him to join you in the conversation. Can you do that? Yeah, sure. Um, he's he's driving his, on his way home now. Uh, okay, all right. Well, I don't Is think, that fine? Uh, for some reason, I don't think you are his son. You are just uh, making fun of him, maybe. <laughs> no? I'm not. Yeah. All right. Do we have any Abdul? As you see, Islam is nothing but collection of fairy tale stories and stupidity, and the Muslim they try to troll in order to avoid answering what Islam is about. This is the whole story. Nobody can answer. I mean, look at this verse in front of us, how stupid it is. God he sent two angels in the power of the tower of Babylon. Why the power of it? Because people they believe that this is a tower will take you to God. It's a high tower built by a king. Supposedly he will reach to God. So Allah He sent. Abbas is calling. Hello. Hello. Peace be to you. Hello. Hello, CB. Peace be to you. Yeah, for just just to confirm that he was not my son. Yeah, I know. I know. He's a, he's an idiot. My son is that, next uh, to me right now. We are going idiot. home. I'm with the family, and that's why we hang so up. Right. So, that. Abbas, yes. what do you think about as long you are calling me? Forget about your yeah. son. You know, you can do better than this. I know. I can't. So, what do you think about this? Uh, two angels sent oh, by oh. Allah to teach magic. Uh, the reason I called you about, I want to correct you about the uh, Muhammad Sassan tried to commit suicide. Okay, correct. I want me, to please. correct you. No problem. Go ahead. Yeah, if you if you read the hadith mm -hmm. um, carefully, mm -hmm. uh, um, a whole of these, mm -hmm. this is Sahih. There's no doubt about that. Okay, hadith is Sahih. Okay, but there, there's a, that portion of the hadith mm -hmm. where it says he tried to commit suicide. If you read that with carefully, okay, you read it for us carefully. Was, Go ahead. That was a hit. Sorry, that was a read it, read it for us carefully. That, Go ahead. That, you want me to read it for you? Well, you are saying if you read it carefully, I don't know what they mean. So maybe there's something that, I missed. Sure. That, that's right. Yeah. First of all, we need to know this. Uh, this is narrated from Aisha, mm. but the person who is telling that it's narrated by Aisha is Zuhri. Mm. Zuhri is a tabi. He's not even a companion. He's a mm. companion of the companion. Mm. So when he narrated the whole the hadith, mm. it's a quite a long hadith. Mm. But if you see, it started from. Uh, it's quite a long hadith. Um, it says, narrated Aisha, the commencement of the divine inspiration, and then go on. Aisha says, What happened? He met the angel in the cave. Then he came back. He went to his wife, Hadija, <laughs> and is saying that as a, a with a confirmation what is happening. Hmm. But when the point comes, he tried to commit suicide uh, right at the end. Hmm. It says, I'm going to read English, but you can confirm in Arabic. All right. But after a few, but after a few days, Varaka died, mm. and the divine inspiration was also paused for mm. a while. Okay. And the Prophet ﷺ became so sad. This is the crucial point. Okay. As we have heard mm. that he intended several times to throw himself on mm. the tops of high, high mountains. Okay. So he's not saying Aisha is saying that. He said, as we have no, heard. No, Aisha. Aisha continue so, speaking. Because Aisha, she was not his wife at that time yet. This is in the beginning of the mission of Muhammad when he was in Mecca. 
Aisha, she got married from Muhammad after the death of Khadija, correct? Yes. Okay, so at that point, Aisha, she is not there and she, maybe she is not born yet. So here, Aisha, she is saying clearly that as we heard, because she was not there to witness to what happened, she was not the wife, she was a baby, and she is reporting what she heard. She heard from who? She heard from the Prophet. No. No, that's the, that's the thing. Okay, you're missing two things. You're missing two things here. Hmm. This story hmm. is told by Zuhuri. My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Do you see any break in the speech? No. It says, uh, but after a few days, Waraka died and inspiration, etc. So here, the Aisha is still talking. The whole conversation is the conversation of Aisha. Zuhri, Zuhri. Zuhri is reporting what Aisha she said, correct? That's right. Correct. But the Zuhri so, is the one who's reporting. So he's it's, not it's the Zuhri. one. Who's he's the one is reporting, Zuhri. my friend. Now listen, no, no, listen, no. listen. Zuhri you just say said that you just said you just said this hadith. Because, you just said in the beginning. Aisha, Aisha would never said that. Abbas, Abbas. Just you just said in the beginning. This hadith is sahih, correct? Yes. So whatever there is sahih. Yes. Okay. So whatever so there is sahih. What sahih means? So he means authentic. Yeah, and in the Sahih Hadith, mm. if somebody says like this, for example, mm. very authentic narration, but it says, and I think where it says, and I think where it's, and where it says, I think. Let, let me make my point, please. Mm. Let me make my point, please. I want everybody to understand that. Mm. If in the Sahih Hadith, the, the everybody Ravi is Sahih, the content content is authentic. In that authenticity, in that authentic narration, if somebody says. I think that happened. That 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 phrase stays as it is authentic, but he, he's not sure. He's saying, "I think." Hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So that is Sahih, but in Sahih, hmm. he is telling that he's not sure. Hmm. So this is exactly what's happening in Sahih. This is your. This is your. Story own, says this is your own uh, fabrication to get away from your prophet trying to commit suicide. No. Correct. Uh, no, no, it's, no, no, it's not. It's not. Okay. And second, so then, second then secondly, me, there's another hadith, exactly then, the same story. Okay. But in fact, this part of suicide is not there because that is not told by Zori. No, because by because else. that hadith did not go to to talk more about what happened after the death of Waraka. This is why the death of Waraka is not mentioned why? in the hadith. Why? Because they, they don't think that hearsay is true. Let me ask. Zori didn't say that story is true. Okay, he, he confirmed with us. He told us okay. honestly okay. that I we heard. Is, uh, did Muhammad try to commit suicide because they said to him, "You're Satan"? He forsaken you. No, he didn't come. Uh, this, uh, this, according to this hadith, he didn't commit to commit suicide. This is a hearsay, and hearsay no. you cannot rely. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Such an allegation okay. you cannot. Did did, on, did, on did, did the people of Muhammad, including the family of Muhammad, they said to Muhammad, Your Satan is for, forsaking you because he is not receiving Quran no more? That is not uh, family. There's some, some woman said that. As I heard about that. The, wife of, Abu, the it, wife of Abu Lahab is uh, not a family? The wife of Abu Lahab is not a family? Um. I don't think it's Abu Lahab said that. I think it's somebody else. The woman said the that. Wife, the know. wife of Abu Lahab, she said that. She said that your shaitan, okay. he forsaken you, correct? Uh, look, I heard that story. Is that a hadith? Uh, confirm with me. It's in the screen. It is in the screen. It is Da'if hadith. No, no. Um, you see, my YouTube is not on. So just tell me what what is it? Hadith? What is it? Sorry, I'm not looking. Refresh, at refresh your YouTube. Refresh. Um. Okay. Uh, but um, the thing is that the book. You see the word. No, no. no you see the volume of YouTube. If I make it uh, uh, down, you can I think just that you I can mute uh, YouTube, my friend. You can mute YouTube. Mute it. So how, how can you do my second? Let me ask my son. You can you mute it? How can you ask your son? Well, I thought he's not I, your son. I have a son with me. I told you I'm going home with my family. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, with, my, I'm with my son and my daughter right now with me. Okay. Uh, drive safe, drive safe maybe. One second. So how can you mute YouTube, but I'm still talking on Skype? I don't know how to use Skype. Can you hear me? Hello? I do, I do. 
Oh, okay, yeah, fair, I, fair enough. I've done that. Sorry, it was okay. quite simple. Sorry so about do you that. see it? I do apologize. Screen, I can mm. see it, yes. So has your Satan forsaken you? Why they are saying that the one who is he give him verses is Satan? No, no. So people say that about Jesus, that you are, uh, uh, mm. Bilzabub is in you. The mm. prince of uh, demons. So okay. what? But why? Jesus, he did, he did not do what Muhammad did. Did Jesus try to commit suicide by throwing himself from the no, top no, of the mountain? I'm telling you, Muhammad didn't. Where? Um, that's, you're making your point on something. Okay, but this is, is in the true. Quran. The Quran says, Jesus owns Allah, he sent, Allah, he sent, Allah, he sent a verse. Allah, he sent a verse. Hold on. Allah, he sent a verse. Chapter 93, verse okay, 1 to Jesus. 3 says that Allah neither yeah. forsaken you nor hated you what make Muhammad think that Allah forsaken him and he hated him uh, people probably are saying that people okay saying it all the time. if people they say that to you you believe it no no people, so why people Muhammad say, needed, uh, no, so why Muhammad because this message came into Muhammad this message is coming to Muhammad so why Allah saying to Muhammad he has neither forsaken so, you nor hated you Speaking to Muhammad directly, not to the women, saying to him, I did not hate you, I did not forsake you. What make Muhammad? Because in order to give an, yeah, such I a response, that's mean Muhammad, he felt that. that. You, you go okay. back 1400 years back. Uh -huh. Okay, so now you see the hypocrisy of Abbas. I, now I he cannot go back 1400 years back. About, but about it's Muhammad it's trying to throw himself from the top of the mountain, he was able to go 1400 years back. Now he cannot go back 1400 years ago. Okay, hold on. Uh, was Muhammad you, a crazy you're person? Breaking up. Uh, you, can you hear me? No, so you don't tell me breaking up. I'm not breaking up. Was Muhammad a crazy man? Oh, calm down, man. Calm down. You, was Muhammad a, a, was Muhammad down, a crazy down. man? Why, why are you so angry? You know when the Muslims I'm not get angry. angry. I'm, I'm showing everybody. Was you know Muhammad, when Muslims get angry, was Muhammad a crazy man? Yeah, Muslims was Muslims Muhammad a crazy man? You know what they say? Ah, Abbas. the word of God Abbas. making your people Was Muhammad angry a crazy and... man or a wise man? You're doing the same thing as well. We're talking about Islam. And you can say whatever you want. Was Muhammad a crazy man or a wise man? Was he a crazy man or a wise man? How many questions do you want me to answer? I mean, come on. The I, same I question. We are talking about the same topic. We are talking about the same topic. Obviously, I say, I, I can't prove it easy that Muhammad is a crazy man. The hadith in front of you saying that the prophet was bewitched. No. What bewitched mean? Uh, let me answer the first question earlier. You say why the verse came from Allah that he doesn't forsake you and he doesn't hate you. Yes. Mm. Why? Why? So... The question is if people are calling him mad crazy mm. yeah mm. and he's a prophet of god and let's say no words come down no words mm. come down mm. just silence from allah don't you think people will ask where is your god now people are accusing you where is your god he's not defending you at all what's going on but you people see last then that hadith support the story that, that, that well. the hadith support the story that muhammad he stopped receiving revelation so the story is true this, well, is yeah, why, yeah, yeah, this is yeah, why this is about why this is why it's about the suicide this is why this is, why, no, this is the hadith this is the quran that your god why if we go and read the interpretation That's why because muhammad he stopped receiving revelation correct no which of these you're talking about now you, you i'm talking about quran now. Now. i'm talking about quran yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so you did you Muhammad say stop the, receiving the, revelation the, the yes revelation or no stops. So did muhammad did muhammad stop receiving revelation yes or no um, yes, according to a hadith. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank moment. you very much. Okay, uh, why Allah uh, stopped sending him revelation? Yes. Why Allah he stopped sending him revelation? What happened? Um, um, hmm. I, I can't answer that. It's Allah's will. Allah can stop sometime. Do you think I've Allah was busy the doing the, the, the wind recipe show? And that, that, maybe Allah yes. was doing barbecue recipe videos. He was busy. What do you mean he don't know? Why Allah? He sent the prophet, no, no. and now he don't want him to receive revelation. I'm not going to pretend that I know it. Mm. No, I don't want to repent. Is, I don't want to. Matter. Uh, uh, Abbas, we are we are adults. We are adults. We are adults. Already, Abbas, right Abbas. now, is he strong? Abbas, Allah, human Allah, he sent. Allah, he sent the prophet. Listen, listen. Let him, let him punch. Allah, he sent the prophet for a mission. Let him. Is, is Allah going to stop the mission or he will Sorry? continue? What is the purpose that Allah, Allah going to stop us? What is the purpose of Allah stop receive, uh, sending 
message to Muhammad. Why he did that? Uh, this is the question. <coughs> hmm. if, if this answer to that question is only going to be my assumption. Hmm. Okay? Because well, I, I don't... This is I story. Here this we go. Question. This is the story to me, from... It's, to me, it's pretty clear. My friend. Sorry. This is the story confirmed that the woman she said to him, Your shaitan, he stopped coming to you because he stopped receiving revelation. And this is the book of Asbab al Nizul. Asbab al Nizul. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not hadith, no? Okay, let me ask you. Well, the Quran says that, and the hadith says that. What's wrong with you? The hadith says that, the Quran says that, and now and still you are saying to me, What is the proof? Okay, let me ask you. Is it true? That your prophet he found a dog, dead dog, under his his uh, his uh, his uh, couch or his bed, and this is why Allah he stopped sending him the uh, 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 Quran because of the dog. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me, tell me the story. I heard the story. Don't tell me, bit, tell me the story. I'm asking you: Is it possible? That, is it possible that Islam, the message of Allah, will stop because of a little puppy? Don't, don't make a fun of Islam because I'm not making fun. I'm asking question: Is it possible that God, He cannot deliver His message to mankind to His favorite prophet because of a little tiny puppy? Either you say yes or you say no. No. So. How the Quran says Allah he stopped sending Muhammad messages because of a puppy. Okay, um uh, chapter and verse please. It's in the front of you. The same chapter. Yeah. Hmm. Do you think chapter... do you think Allah he fair puppies? I mean he is can you can you hmm. puppy. Can you give me can you give me the chapter number? Please, I didn't see the chapter number. What? The Lord hath not forsaken you, hmm. nor hath he hmm. that he okay. hate you. Obviously, this is the puppy here. Obviously, this is dog. The story and the interpretation: Why he did not receive so, revelation from Allah because so, he found a dog. So, Correct. You just say see. He, he and Quran says that you say Quran says that because of the puppy. Quran doesn't say well, that. the Quran confirmed that Stop he stopped lying. receiving the, the message of Allah. The reasoning is explained by you, Muslims. So, Quran did say that Quran confirmed Allah, he is not sending rude. his messages to Muhammad. I keep refuting you. I don't want to be rude. Abul, I said the first Sorry? same verse in front of you. Here we go. I was showing you this. This is the interpretation. So I'm saying to you the same verse. It's in the front of you. And here we go. Read with me carefully. Don't tell me you, you cannot refute me. You are Abbas. You will never turn something else. Read carefully. It says, Abu Abdul Rahman, blah, 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 blah said, hold on, hold on. Listen, the message of Allah has blessed him in peace that the dog entered the prophet house, went under the bed. Later he died there. Days passed. By the Prophet, Allah blessed him and give him peace, and he did not receive revelation. And then he told them, after he found out that the dog is dead under his bed for many days, that angels will not enter. The angel told him, I cannot enter your house because there's a dead dog there. Yeah, I just refresh my screen. So mm -hmm. Messenger of Allah has blessed him and gave him Beast mm. entered the Prophet's house, went under the bed, and later died there. Days passed by the Prophet, Allah blessed him and gave him peace. Mm. Did not receive any revelation, he and um, that what happened in my house. Gabriel, peace be upon him, has stopped coming to me. So it was the angel, mm. yeah. So the angel, the angel doesn't come to so Allah, place. okay. But uh, the angel is doing the order of Allah, so the so order the angel, of Allah, it's not like Allah didn't. No, 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 hold on. The, the angel, angel didn't come to the, the angel is the soldier of Allah. Do you agree? And he is a powerful creature, the angel is a slave of Allah, a slave of Allah, but he's a soldier. He do orders too, and he go in war. Slave. Isn't it the Quran says Allah he sent the 3,000 angels to fight with Muhammad? Okay, so now answer. How uh, such a powerful angel, yeah, his name is Jibreel, with, with 600 can, wings, with 600 wings, 600 wings, listen, 600 wings angel, who his size covered the horizon, he cannot enter a house because there is a puppy. Yeah. Yeah. 
How? What? How such so, an angel, such a powerful angel, angel, angel like he could God. not, it's angel not about, like, no, 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 doesn't like, just, this, is, this is not about liking my friend, it says he cannot enter a house because there's a dog in it. Specifically a puppy. Okay, he, so what? So the God so of Islam, the God like of Islam, the God of Islam, okay, it's hold on. The like God of dog. Islam have a phobia. Let me place. ask you, are you saying the God of Islam have a phobia from puppies? Uh, are you breaking up? CPU no, I'm not breaking happening. up. You hear me? I'm saying, do the God of Islam have a phobia up. from puppies? He's a scared, terrified from puppies. Yeah, Abbas, don't die on me. Yes, Abbas. I was asking you. Yeah. Do your God yeah, have a phobia? A do yeah. your God have a bad phobia because of puppies? Why are you saying Jibreel is not my God if you don't know about But that. the one who could not deliver the message is God at the end of the day because Jibreel is just doing a mission. Allah, he sent him. Allah, he sent Jibreel. Who is the one sent Jibreel? Allah. Okay, do Allah knew that there is a dog under the bed of Muhammad? He should know. Uh, and now Jibreel is waiting. He cannot enter the house. There's a dog. There's a dog. I cannot enter. But Allah sent me. I cannot I go back something? without delivering. So imagine, imagine you have a delivery guy come into your house and he is in the front of your house for a few days, but he cannot get in because there is a puppy. I have a question. Answer, don't tell me a question. I, I have a question. Why an angel no, of no. Allah who sent by Allah? S -s -s why why an question. angel of Allah who is sent by about Allah this. cannot enter a house have a puppy? You you keep repeating yourself and I want to say something. I want to remark. What you say this, something? Uh, what say something? Answer us, prestige. you know, what kind of a God? Because the one here is the prophet, he is is you know, he's going crazy. He you know, he's waiting for the angel and there's no revelation. And Allah cannot do anything about it until somebody find the the, the, the dead uh, dog uh, under the bed of the Prophet. Okay. Uh, hello. What's wrong with this reception? Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, uh, just there is a puppy under my bed. Hold on. Okay. Now I hear you. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm reading that again. Um, you say which, which tafsir is this? Ibn Kathir, Jalal, and which is this? Because I'm not read any tafsir you want. Go ahead. I don't care. No, which tafsir is this? This is the book of Asbab and Nuzul. Oh, okay. Hmm. This is the book of Asbab and Nuzul. Written by who? Written, uh, I think, uh, Trump. Peace upon him. I, you, you, are, you are a Muslim. You do not know the book of Asbab and Nuzul. Whew, I'm not a scholar, you know that. I mean, uh, I'm just a lady. Okay, I call your son. I'm still learning. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the, the question I like to ask this thing the one who write this tafsir, hmm. uh, Nazul, if this person is in front of me right now, hmm. I would have asked him a question. Ya Sheikh, tell me one thing. Hmm. In this all that time, how many days the dog was under the bed? Hmm. Did Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam did, uh, ever went out of this his house? Mm -hmm. So why Jibreel, if he couldn't come in his house, he mm -hmm. could have met him outside on the door when Muhammad went outside the marketplace, the mosque, wherever to see friends. Why Jibreel has to just wait outside the house, couldn't come to the house because he was not always in the house. Mm -hmm. So what was the problem? Mm -hmm. Why revelation stop? You assuming that Muhammad Hassan was stuck in the house and Gabriel couldn't see him. Mm -hmm. so that was my question to that. Mm -hmm. hey, whoever wrote this as well, it doesn't make sense. So you are saying the story. Did you, did you not, okay, let us make it clear, Abbas. You are saying, not me, that this is a stupid story. Uh, stupid assumption, definitely, yes. On the face okay. of his stupid story, absolutely. Okay, right. it doesn't make sense. So you are, answer me. You have a smart man. Answer me where I'm wrong here in this question. Okay. No, no, I agree with you, actually. I agree with you. Here there is something fishy because, okay, Muhammad, he was... Uh, uh, what he was home for all those days he can't get out the angel he can talk to him anywhere not necessarily at the side of the house but still that will yes. not change the fact can angels enter a house have a dog well what we know the angels don't come into the house where they are dogs hmm. the reason i heard from scholars I, I have to be honest i haven't read hadith or anything like that hmm. 
that the reason is that the dogs can sense the spirits or angels, whatever mm -hmm. they are. They can sense. Mm -hmm. this. So they can sense and they will no, not stop barking mm -hmm. if they feel there's something there. So for that reason, angels do not come to the house okay. where there is a dog. You said that the story is a stupid, right? So whoever reported that the angel could not enter the house because of the dog is a stupid, correct? Um that this story about the dead dog well uh, uh, still uh, like uh, the angel he could not enter because this, of the dog this, this, this story this story hmm. that the angel didn't come um, uh, didn't no revelation came to Muhammad because the dead dog was under his bed okay everybody heard you are by saying whoever say and agree with this story is a stupid but the one who said that is your prophet mm -hmm. uh, well, mm -hmm. where is his that which hadith is that here we go it's in the front of you okay yeah it was many of these refer sure. reference this is the, the this is Sahih Muslim hadith number two one zero four a okay yeah okay I'm okay. gonna read it okay. is it all right if I read it sure go ahead so this is the hadith the Aisha reported yeah mm. Aisha reported uh, okay, can you start from the beginning I want to read it read it okay here we go this is the title read from the title chapter Forbation of making images of living being and forbation of using images that are not subjected to the strict blah 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 blah. Okay, and then he says uh, they are an image of a dog or an image or a dog. Then I shall report it. Read for us. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Hmm. It's it's not. Can you put it down? I can't see. It. Okay. Now you it's, can see. It's it. not on the screen. Yeah. Okay. I shall report it with the alarm. Uh, Gabriel. Uh, his salam made a promise with Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa to come at a definite hour. Mm. That hour came, but he did not visit him. And there was in his hand a staff. He threw it from his hand and said, mm. Never has Allah or his messengers alayhi salatu salam, ever broken their promise. Mm. Then he cast a glance, found a puppy under his cot, mm. and said, Aisha, when did this? Can you put it up? I can't. I can't see the rest of it. Aisha, okay. Right. I uh, Aisha went. Did okay. He said. Then he cast a glance mm. and found a puppy under his cot and said, mm. "Aisha, when did this dog enter here?" Mm. She said, "By Allah, I don't know." He then commanded, and it was turned out. Mm. Then Gabriel came, and Allah's Messenger said to him. You promised me, and I waited for you, but you did not come. Whereupon he said, It was the dog in your house which prevented me, mm. for we do not enter a house in which there is a dog or a picture. Mm. Okay, yes? Okay, you are the one who Shall said this is stupid. Shall I comment? Go ahead. Can I give my comment? Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, when earlier I said, and you said, is for days. Uh, angel didn't enter the house and my first reaction was and uh, my question was mm. so in those all those days prophet didn't go out mm. so angel couldn't see him that that's why the stupid the story is stupid mm. but this hadith is not talking about days he's mm. talking about angel gabriel told him for example i'm going to come and meet you seven o'clock in the evening in your house mm. okay no problem and he waited seven o'clock he didn't come he, he said that's not possible the angel gave me time he has to be on time what's going on so at that moment in time, he looked under the bed and there was a dog. Mm. He get the dog out, mm. angel came in. Mm. So that was only like a few moments. Mm. So this story makes sense because in that time, there was not like for days. Mm. Because if, uh, for example, if he didn't find the dog, mm. next day, if he but said, as then you see, Allah, he sent the message. House, okay, hold angel on. Would have okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Allah, this, this, your, uh, uh, Jibreel was this coming to deliver. Hold on, hold on. Believable. Okay, what if I show you that this is was for 25 days? Okay, please go ahead. Here we go. That would be a stupid story then. And I'm saying it. Here we go. Well, an Ibn Abbas, Khamsa wa Ashrina Yoman, wa an Siddi wa Mukatil Arbaina Yoman. So, Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas, okay, I will show it in English, no problem. I will use Google Translation. Give me a second, please. Okay, what, what is the source, brother? This is the tafsir, my friend. Tafsir of what? 
Oh, it's a it's a collection of tafsir. They are telling you. Okay, here we go. Can you give me the name of the source? No problem. Let me, let me let me give you a source. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. Yeah, this is very important issues. You, know? oh. you can't just right. read in the read from anything, and uh, we have to make a judgment. No problem. This is Ibn Kathir. Yes. Kitab al Hawi fi Ibn Tafsir, and he's quoting Ibn Kathir. So it says, and I'm I'm going to translate into English. On what verse he's quoting Ibn Kathir? He Ibn is Kathir is quoting on what verse? He is quoting the Surah of Adduha. Because I have Adduha, the same chapter we are talking about, the same chapter we are talking about from the. Yeah. Okay. Uh, surah Adduha. Okay. All right. So let us no go problem. here. We go to Google Please Translation. Please go ahead. First, let us find it in Arabic. Uh, to be sure, we are at the same Hello? page. Hello. I'm here with you. Arab. Hello. So you, your connection was gone for um, uh, maybe thirty seconds. I didn't. If you said no, anything, I didn't hear. No, I'm saying. Is I'm, so Last I'm, time I heard you say. I am here Dora. with That's you. It. Here we go. Well, an Ibn Juraj. أنه كان إثني عشر يوما وعن الكلبي خمسة عشر يوما وقبل بضعة عشر وقيل وقبل بضعة عشر يوما وعن ابن عباس خمسة وعشرين يوما وعن السدي ومقاتل أربعين يوما translation okay let us see translate to English I will show it in the front of you I'm just clicking at the page translate to English yeah okay right And now we have the translation. Let us look for the sentence. A second. Do you see it? And Ibn Abbas, it says, 25 days, a Saddi, he says, uh, 40 days, and. Uh, uh, no, 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 I need to see exactly what event he's talking about. This is the Please. event, the same story, the same uh, chapter we are talking about. So no, the, no, the, the dog, from the, the dog, I need to know the, that he's talking the about dog, the same. The dog, the dog, the dog was there, and Muhammad, he did not receive his revelation for many days. And the average is between few to 10 days, you know, 25 days, 50 days, 40 days. So in any way, it's many days. Hang on, I mean, when it says dog, uh, where is a dog under the bed? Does it say where is dog under the bed? It was narrated by Ibn Jurai said that it was at 12 days and about the dog 15 days. Now, what about the dog what? The dog was about under the, the bed. Dog. The dog was it's... under the bed. The dog was there. No, but... <laughs> what about dog? the dog? What, what about that? the dog? What the dog? The whole story is saying that the prophet said that angels will not enter a house of a dog, and we show you the hadith, we show you the interpretation, and now we are showing you more interpretation. You said that this is not about one day. Uh, this is maybe the hadith saying one day, but all of them agree that this is for, was for a while. This is why it's needed a verse from Allah to saying, "I did not leave you, I did not hate you." Because if it's one day, okay, yeah, well, what, what, what? I mean, do Muhammad receive a verse every two seconds? No. So if it was one day, it doesn't make sense. Allah will send a chapter saying to him, oh, people, they are saying to you, your God is forsaking you, forsaking you for what? For just one day, he did not receive a message? That's stupid. So if because if Muhammad received a message every day in his life, that means the Quran should be like a million pages. Uh, uh, two different stories. No, First this is not all, two different stories. This is the same chapter. Here we go. The same chapter, stop being a fool. This is the same chapter. Here we go. The Surat al Daha. Mm -hmm. Same chapter. And same what chapter. chapter. What are, you, what are yes. you talking about? Are you trying to, you the, know, wife, to the wife of Abu me? Lahab, he said, Your Satan stop coming to you. Uh, okay. Now you said, I'm going to show you, prove it to you for 25 days. Angel did. I just did. I just did. I just did. I just did. No. 25 days. No. Who is the one who said no. Ibn Abbas? Do you no. know who's, do you know, do you know who's Ibn Abbas? No, you did not. Ibn Abbas is my son. 
Take care, Abbas. I have no time for kids. <laughs> but I'm happy you said this is a stupid story. And yes, your prophet is a false prophet, using as a, a dog as an excuse that his God cannot send him messages because of a puppy. Islam was under the danger of a puppy. Don't ever disestimate the power of puppy. Look at their teeth. Dangerous. Scary. The puppy who scared Allah. Very dangerous. Do you know what puppy can do? Brother and sister. Puppy. God message is stopped because of a puppy. And now we have a story in the Quran because of a puppy. And now we made Allah talk and send his messenger to say, hey, Muhammad, I did not forsake you. It was the puppy. Oh, oh. Allah making a verse saying, because of a puppy, I could not send you the message, Prophet. Otherwise, I really love you. I care for you. I miss you. But there was a puppy there. I wanted really to send you the verses, but Jibreel could not enter because you have a puppy. A puppy. If we ask Zach and Nick, what he will say? A brother, puppy are very dangerous, and we can prove it for you. As an example, the prophet he was waiting for an important method from Allah. And imagine, brother, you are waiting for a method from the King of Kings. This Allah, brother, not Jesus, at the Christian they say. And then he arrived in the front of the daughter prophet. And the angel he traveled from behind the galaxy. Not galaxy, some from different galaxy. Today he come and he go in front of the door. And almost he's there. And then bingo, brother, he can't get in. Why? Because there is a danger. There is a very scary creature. There is a fluffy dog. A fluffy dog are very dangerous. And they are very cute, yes. And the American you like them. But they are disgusting. What the heck? A puppy, a puppy, he stopped Allah. And you want us to believe in such a crazy religion? Allah message Islam stopped because of a puppy. The angel with 600 wings who can destroy armies, he could not enter because there's a puppy. What about you send him what's up? Viber. By the way, guys, I don't want to tell you the truth that I am a prophet, but the reason until now that Angel could not come to my house because I have a picture of a puppy. I don't have a puppy, but I have his picture. And the angel is terrified. And the poor guy, in the beginning, he said he agreed that this is a stupid story. And now, after we get him busted saying the one who said this stupid story is your prophet, he need to swallow it back. And this is how we do it. Why we have only 798 like? Trust me, if you have you ever heard of a comedy show better than this? Islam is the best comedy. Why we have only 799? Why? You, know, you people give a like for a, a woman singing in the stage waiting short, wearing short, uh, short skirt? That's discrimination. That's really discrimination. Is that because I'm hairy? You're not going to give me a like, brother? <laughs> okay, if you don't give me a like immediately, I'm going to order my puppy to attack you. <laughs> Puppy, come on, make some aggressive voice. This is not aggressive voice. Go. Okay, puppy, I want you to start smoking from now on because I want your voice to become aggressive. Smoke hashish. We need an aggressive voice. People will not even give us dislike now. Or like, brother. What the heck? What is that? This is a religion. This is a religion of God. 
puppy the angel saying to Muhammad nothing made me not to enter your house except a puppy oh boy let us do jihad against puppies they are the enemy of Allah and Allah have weakness with them and look at this puppy like what the heck are you talking about me <laughs> yes brother <laughs> this dog he do not know how much impact he have in the message of Allah the cable of the internet of Allah was disconnected with the Prophet because of a puppy and the puppy is dead under the bed of the Prophet for 25 days and Muhammad did not smell the ugly smell how bad the smell of the Prophet bedroom guys if you put a piece of meat just a tiny piece of meat in your bedroom your bedroom will stink like hell so how a puppy is dead for 25 days and you know what will come from his belly after not only the stink worms crazy stuff under the bed of Muhammad in in the city of uh, 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 Mecca where the temperatures go crazy which means the body will start decaying very fast the smell will be disgusting and nobody in the house notice there is something wrong nobody Nobody. See, after I said that I will make my puppy do woof woof on you, I have we have nine hundred thirty-eight uh, 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 like. Let us do more woof. Hey, puppy, I tagged him. <laughs> like this is come on, man. Who's going? Is even Abbas will not be scared by this? Oh, I sorry, I forget Abbas. He have a phobia of dogs because Islam teach phobia against dogs. Abbas he asked the scholar about dog he said yes the dogs have special sensation and this is why angels don't enter the house what dogs they sense evil they sense bad energy otherwise dogs are really friendly animals they are the best friend you see if you are lost in the middle of nowhere you will be dreaming to have a loyal dog with you who can wake you up if in case of danger he can help you to protect yourself he can alarm you of something getting close to you very loyal i can show you tons of videos of people they die and their dog is still don't want to go home he sleep he die next to the grave what's wrong with dogs L dogs are more loyal than a human you die your family they bury you and they turn your face on you and they see you once a year if they remember you in your grave dog will stay next to you there i saw a video of a dog the guy he was in the bed in the hospital they took him out so they can't take him off because he, he died the dog he still want to stay in the room he don't want to go he don't want to go he's waiting for his master beautiful animals Islam is a religion of phobia phobia from pork phobia from dogs even phobia from lizard even lizard is the enemy of Allah even they have a fatwa to kill Mickey Mouse Mickey Mouse yes brother <clears throat> it's dangerous brother Don't forget if you like to read more and to learn more about the cult and the madness and the craziness of Islam to get my books so you can enjoy and you can teach your children so they will not be fooled by the fake media the fake media they say if you attack Islam you are a person who have a bigotry <clears throat> when Islam is a religion of phobia 
phobia from birds phobia from dogs phobia from everything lizard the prophet said a lizard from the first shot Allah will give you extra extra reward if you kill him from the second shot Allah will give you less reward but if you give if you kill him from the third shot Allah will give you the lowest reward why even lizard even the poor lizard I'm just trying to find you the hadith here we go we found it lizard why dangerous lizard you know guys why why Muhammad he told the Muslim to kill the lizard anyone remember because according to Muhammad when they try to kill Prophet Abraham all the animals try to stop the fire except the lizard he was blowing air at the fire <laughs> What a dangerous creature. What an evil creature. How dare you? How dare you? Lizard trying to kill Abraham. Do you think we will let that go without penalty and punishment? No. We are going to do jihad against you. And the one who kill you from the first shot, he will get an extra reward from Allah. The Kabir. Look at this hadith. Even Muhammad he believed that the Jews are lizard. A man he came to Muhammad and said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, we live in the land abandoning in lizard. So what do you command? You know, like the guy you want to say, can we eat? Can we eat lizard? Muhammad, he said, oh, don't, oh hold on, oh, hold on, oh, oh, hold on. Okay, what, hold on. He said, it was mentioned to me that the people from Bani Israel, which means the children of Israel, the Jews, were distorted. So they are like hood that those might be distorted in a shape of lizard. Wait, what? 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 Allah, He made the Jews lizard? He? Actually, you know what? You look like an Orthodox Jew. <laughs> I was wondering, I saw you before where? Where I saw you before, Mr. Lizard? Aha! Uh -huh. You are Jack Shalom. But you just change your color. I mean, do you see the phobia of the Jews of this man? Even he think the lizard are Jews. And not only the lizard are the Jews, guess what? Even rats. Rats, brother. Yes, brother. Rats. Prophet Muhammad, he observed very, very, very good. Very smart. High rated IQ. So Muhammad, he come to the conclusion that Allah, he cursed some of the Jews and he made them rats and how the prophet he discovered this eh, the story in front of us the prophet said a group of israeli a group of what israeli of what israeli i say the word israeli because that brings phobia 
to some, you know, Israeli. <laughs> please stop saying Israeli, please, please. Phobia. And then Muhammad, he was looking at the rats' behavior. And look what Muhammad said. The Prophet said, A group of Israelists were lost, and nobody knows. Nobody knows, brother, what happened to them, what they did. But I see when the Prophet he say, I see that means the blind is talking. Take a note. The Prophet of Allah he see. Who can see better? Nobody. But I see. Okay. What do you see, Prophet? I see that they were cursed and changed into rats. If, 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 if. That's really messed up. The wisdom of the Prophet. The intelligence. The observation. The science. So what the Prophet he noticed? That they were cursed and changed into rats. Prophet, who told you that? Allah or the angel? No. For if you, if you put the milk of a she-camel in the front of a rat, it wouldn't drink it. But if you put the milk of sheep in the front of it, it will drink it. So Muhammad, he says, okay, the Jews don't eat camel meat and don't drink camel milk. The rat don't drink camel milk. So obviously the Jews, those rats are Jews. <laughs> hey, by the way, this rat is drinking milk with a sheep milk from a Starbucks. And this is how Muhammad he discovered because of his phobia of the Jews that rats, they are Orthodox Jews. Have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this before? Are we saying things with the proofs and reference? Yes, my friend. It's in front of your eyes. And you want to tell me that this is a religion? This is a mad, stupid cult. Imagine if we say, if we Christian, we believe in that, then we will say we are racist. This is what they say in TV. Uh, Trump, he says, go back home. That is racist. Hmm? But saying that the Jews are cursed and made into rats and lizards and pigs, the Quran even say pigs and monkeys. The Quran says pigs and monkeys. The phobia of the Jews all over. Read chapter 2, verse number 65, chapter 5, verse number 60, chapter 7, verse number 166. Hmm? Here you understand why the Muslims call us pigs and call us monkeys. Hmm? Any Abdul? Any Muslim want to call us and say something? Okay, don't say something. Do something. I'm really astonished with the science of the Prophet. The phobia of the Prophet. Again, if you like to learn more about the mad cult of this religion, the knowledge about it, you can read my books. They are written in many languages and more languages to come soon. And, you know, no matter really how much I do make videos, still I did not share with you not even 1% of what I know about this mad cult. But we need a reason to bring the knowledge out, which means sometime a question can trigger 
information is somewhere in the corner of my head so we need Muslims and Muslims will help us to show more of the stupidity like Abbas Abbas and his son that's why I find Muslims are very useful to expose the cult of Islam but if you are convinced that Islam is not a cult please don't forget to leave your comment under the video and please don't forget you are free to download my videos and share them all over they are for free for whoever want to download them and post them but don't forget please to post a reference where you get this video from as we do in the info of this website or this page so I want to say thank you guys for being here and again you can get my books from Amazon and thank you for those who support what we do and may the Lord bless you all and have mercy in our soul and in our brain because a human being brain proven to be defected by cults Islam will make you suffer from this ability of the brain how in the world someone can believe in this how you can believe in such a thing unless you decide to put your in this ability in the box you like it you don't want to use it use the gift which God gave you my friend which is called the brain thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord Islam is false and we'll see you soon again take care